along the great rivers of southern Ohio, whose names evoke the tribal nations who plied their waters at the time of European contact, Miami, Scioto, and Muskingum, indigenous civilizations created monumental works of earth in varying shapes and sizes and for a variety of purposes. Remnants of many of these sites have been placed on the United States Department of the Interior's tentative list of sites to be considered for nomination to the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Hopewell Ceremonial Earthworks is a serial nomination of eight earthworks, which brings together the four most surviving examples of the various kinds of gigantic earthen enclosures and mounds built by the ancient indigenous cultural collective that archeologists have named the Hopewell Culture. These indigenous societies constructed earthworks in various geometric shapes, including circles, squares, and octagons, and earthworks whose shape was determined largely by the outlines of the bluffs on which they were built. They are masterpieces of human creative genius, built by societies that did not live in cities, that had no authoritarian leaders, and who did not rely on maize agriculture to feed the large numbers of people who periodically came together at these vast ceremonial enclosures. Gun Earthworks, a surviving remnant of the once more extensive Newark Earthworks, is a large circular enclosure connected to an even larger octagon by a parallel walled avenue. The main axis of the earthwork is oriented to the point on the eastern horizon where the moon rises at its northernmost position. These earthworks also include alignments to the other key moon rises and moon sets that mark the moon's 18.6 year long cycle. Although the site has been used as a golf course since 1911, it is owned by the Ohio History Connection, which is working to restore full public access to the site. The Great Circle Earthworks is another preserved section of the Newark Earthworks. It is the largest and best preserved of the Hopewell Circular Earthworks. It has a single grand gateway with an interior ditch that once held water. The Fort Ancient Earthworks enclose 40 hectares of a high bluff overlooking the Little Miami River in Western Ohio. It is the largest and is among the best preserved of the Hopewell hilltop enclosures. In spite of the name, it is not a fort, but rather another kind of ceremonial space. The Scioto River Valley in Southern Ohio has been described as the epicenter of the cultural explosion of art, architecture, and ceremony that has been called the Hopewell culture. Five of the most iconic earthwork sites are preserved in Hopewell Culture National Historical Park. Hopeton Earthwork is a circle connected to a square that together enclose a total of 15.5 hectares. Mound City is located just across the river from Hopeton. It is a square with rounded corners that surrounds a large number of burial mounds. High Bank Works is another circular earthwork connected to an octagon. Like Newark's octagon earthworks, it also is aligned to the 18.6 year long cycle of moon rises and moon sets. The Hopewell Mound Group is located in the valley of the North Fork of the Paint Creek, a tributary of the Scioto River. It is the largest of all Hopewell earthen enclosures, and its many mounds contain an extraordinary array of ceremonial regalia crafted from raw materials brought from as far away as the Gulf of Mexico and the Rocky Mountains. The Sipe Earthworks are in the Paint Creek Valley, which is a tributary of the Scioto River. Two large circles combine with a square to enclose a total of 36 hectares. Serpent Mound is a gigantic sculpture of a snake that extends for more than 400 meters along a narrow bluff overlooking Ohio Brush Creek in Southern Ohio. It is on the United States tentative list as a separate potential nomination to the United Nations World Heritage List. The mound is made up of three distinct parts that may work together to tell a story. There is the serpent, a large oval that some have mistakenly thought was an egg clasped in the serpent's jaws, and beyond the oval, there was a wishbone-shaped mound of which only a small remnant survives. One early archeologist thought the wishbone was a frog about to be eaten by the snake. More recent interpretations of the oval are that it is the serpent's eye, or gaping mouth, and the wishbone may be a representation of a powerful female spirit that mated with the great serpent in some American Indian traditions. 
The best available evidence indicates that Serpent Mound was built at around 1100 CE by an ancient American Indian group referred to as the Fort Ancient Culture. The name is confusing because the early archaeologists were confused. They found a village at the Fort Ancient Earthworks and assumed the villagers built the earthen walls and so named the culture after the site. But the village was established more than 500 years after the earthwork construction had ceased.